Good news and bad news, fellas. The good news is that I can play Dark and Darker again. The bad news, on the other hand, I... The bad news, on the other hand, is that I can only do so in short bursts. Due to this, I decided to share you guys the footage of me accidentally winning a 1v3 fight in Goblin Caves, before I fully dedicate myself to playing Songs of Conquest for review. At the time, I was basically practicing the troll fight. I haven't succeeded in killing it as of this video, but I'll pull it off eventually. Had I spawned in a cell closer to the troll room, I would have gone for the boss, but from my experience, anything can happen between Cave Altar and the troll cell. Last time I underestimated this, I ended up meeting a really nasty warlock that kited me in plate armor. Granted, at the time I was wielding a war maul, but still, enemies like this can appear even in sub-25 gear lobbies. Because of the long distance, I decided to just plunder the contents of Cave Altar. After some time, I suddenly heard footsteps coming from a nearby cell. Knowing that this is a sub-25 gear score, Trio's room, I decided to pull out my torch instead to show my lack of hostility. When I met the other group, I was greeted by an arrow shot instead. Assuming that the enemy is most likely a new player, I stood still and gave the ranger another chance to parley. Turns out, the ranger had no plans to leave me be, so I prepared myself through casting some buffs. Unfortunately, since I didn't plan on PvPing, I brought a bunch of spells meant for maximizing my damage in order to kill the troll quickly. Still, I just advanced and hoped for the best. The enemy cleric seemed to have divine protection on, so I stepped back a bit and then proceed to whack him in the head three times. Lost some health from this engagement, so I decided to pop some heals again. Luckily, the druid and the ranger hesitated to engage me, so I was not interrupted. After that, I decided to advance once more towards the enemy. The druid, fortunately, got stuck between the pillar and the ranger. He also ended up dead after a couple of mace hits. Finally, it was the ranger left. I immediately charged towards her. Thankfully, zombies in the stage filled the place to the brim with poison gas, so her movement was restrained. After a couple of hits, she died, and nothing of note happened after this very fight. The one takeaway I had from this situation was that, ideally, one shouldn't always try to seek PvP fights in sub-25 gear lobbies. Who knows, maybe the guy one antagonized turns out to be able to pull off a 1v3. In this situation, everyone could have walked away alive, but somebody just had to shoot arrows. And that's all I can say for now. I hope this video was useful or at the very least amusing. If it was, do subscribe and as always, have a great time.